The traditional British pub may seem an unchanging part of the landscape, but after more than a century in business, Ye Old Cross in Wrighton, Northern England, closed in 2018. Rather than lose their village institution, local residents club together to save it and are working hard to improve it. We raised enough money to buy the building, but not much more than that. So we decided that we would try and do as much of the work ourselves as we could. They're putting in a new bar and lift here, hoping to buck a trend that has seen more than a quarter of Britain's pubs close since 2001. Wrighton's regulars invested £150,000 to become shareholders. If the business becomes profitable again, they hope to start receiving dividends. But it's more about the social side than money. Well, a good pint is good to have after a bit of work, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I think we, we started... Get, we don't get paid in beer. Don't get paid in beer. No. I've had, never had any free beer. No. 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 <laughs> With young people drinking less than they used to, the pub is also reinventing itself in other ways, becoming a community hub for yoga, book clubs, knitting and other activities. I think it's great that there's a community pub. I think it's brought the village together in some ways. Um, people have got somewhere to go and not just use it as a place to drink, watch films here, do yoga, um, there's some concerts. So I think it's a good use of the pub as a whole and a good opportunity for people to get together. The cooperative model is increasingly popular, with more than 100 UK pubs now using it. So far, all of them have managed to stay in business, where the traditional commercial model had failed.